This video demonstrates how to fit an Iron Optics TS column to your UHPLC system for Thermo Scientific Nanospray Flex Source using an Iron Optics column heater. Listed here are the products featured in this video. Plug the iron optics heater cable into channel 1 of the heater controller unit. Ensure settings on the heater controller unit match the settings outlined in the user guide. Set the iron optics heater to the desired temperature. We recommend using a temperature between 40 and 60 degrees Celsius. The maximum recommended temperature is 60 degrees. Place the mass spectrometer in standby before sliding the source stage out of the safety hood. Retract the Z-axis control knob to prevent the emitter contacting the iron transfer tube when the column is inserted and the source stage slides into the operating position. Remove the shipping plug from the column cassette. Holding the column cassette firmly, screw a Nano Viper fitting finger tight into the Nano Zero until you reach a firm stop. Remove the protective cap. The emitter is not protected by a sheath and protrudes from the end of the cassette. To avoid damaging the emitter, ensure that the cap is removed in line with the cassette using a swift motion to completely separate the cap and the cassette. Slide the column cassette into the TS Nanospray Flex Adapter along the column holder until it clicks into place. Place the iron optics heater onto the fin of the column cassette and press down firmly to ensure that the heater is held in position. Slide the stage into position and adjust the X, Y and Z axis to ensure a good emitter position. The emitter should be around 3mm from the ion transfer tube. The column is now installed in the heater and source and ready for operation.